I believe it is worth our while to take a close look at Samson Douda and Rubiel Mosquera from the 2023 Prague Pro Championships, considering this was Rubiel, otherwise known as Nexilla, of course. This was Nexilla's pro debut, and he took third, battling it out with Samson Douda and Michael Crizo. But for this one, I just wanted to focus on just these two dudes, just Samson and Rubiel, because I honestly think it was close between these guys. Now we will be taking a look, uh, a selection, or taking a look, I apologize, at a selection of photos like this one here. And they're very, very blurry, very blurry, and you can't tell condition. But we are using these as a sizing tool. And you can see Samson Douda, he's huge, his silhouette, things of that nature, he's going to get an edge on Rubiel Mosquera, and that is one thing you can tell from this shot. Taking nothing away from Rubiel, he, look, he looks awesome. Now here is back to the, the original shots, and condition, condition. Yes, Nexilla, he is very vascular, things of that nature, and if you watch the video footage, his muscles, they have a lot of pop, a lot of wow. But Samson, very dry. And he's not as vascular as Rubiel, but I'm telling you, the guy's conditioned, for sure. But what we see with this Nexilla is next level size in the wheels. Upper body, Samson's tricep-bicep combination, he's got better arms in my opinion. I might take criticism for that, but in this shot, I think Samson's got better arms. I don't think that's even an argument tricep bicep combination forearms things of that nature rubiel he needs to open up a little bit more with the arms i think he does have the meat just need I mean, like i said guys pro debut get that through my head come on come on actually quite polished for a pro debut to be honest but it is what it is very close guys to samson doubt in the front double now the front lat I would argue and say this one's, I, I don't see anybody arguing with me, me, but I think this is a better shot for Rubiel than his front double. This is an incredible pose. Samson, same thing could be said about him. His silhouette, again, monstrous. He is huge, occupies a lot of space. But you look at the wheels, guys. Look at the calves, the, the quads. This is a monster. Not only that, but he has some substance there in the upper body. Nice chest for Samson, things of that nature, but individualize the lats themselves. Rubiel doing battle. Neckzilla. I think Samson's neck's a little bit bigger in this shot. You guys think? <laughs> hard, hard to say, hard to say. Go to the side shot here, as I often say. Turn to the side. And this is one of the side-by-side -side shots. Not a very good shot. Not a very good picture to judge quality of the the athletes but sizing also might be screwed up on this one i think uh samson's out angling <laughs> angler you guys remember i called chris bumstead an angler anyway anyway I lose my head not very good of a, a picture is what i'm trying to so sing here is the the better pictures and it is a awesome job here for a rubiel I mean, this side just made him famous instantly. But Samson, I don't think we should take all his thunder away. Look at this guy. Look at the far pack. Look at the close pack. Look at the abs. Stature. And his legs are not weak. Not weak. Anybody's look small compared to Rubiel's. Rubiel, the balance is not as good as Samson's. But I'll be gosh darn if he's not mopping the floor. With all due respect to Samson... Sure, he'd say the same thing. He's losing in the lag department. Now, if you were up close, personal, you might even say Samson has thinner skin, things of that nature. But look at the cuts. Look at the cuts. Side tricep is as bad as the side uh, chest. Actually, it's probably worse. Probably worse, considering Samson, he's not even striking the pose. And there's, a, there's an old package right in front of his face. On the TV screen behind there. This package. Anyway, anyway, anyway. All foolishness aside, this is the real comparison. Samson, hey, he's good. And a lot of people were basing their opinions on that last shot. I mean, Samson wasn't even posing, guys. He looks incredible. Yeah, 
I'm still going to give this one to Rubio. I wish he hit this in his mandatory shot so we had a good, clean, close-up shot of this one. But you could see in that close one of the uh, side chest, he is very conditioned from the side and his midsection. That is pancake time thin. Pancake time. <laughs> Little shout out to Mikey there. But yes, I think absolutely. Nexilla is winning this pose. Turn to the both arms, Louis. You were a terrible son. No, I wasn't, Dad. Louis was a good son. He was a good son. This one, yeah. Yeah, see? I'm showing because uh, sizing. And there's a little bit of a controversy here. Have a little... Take your peepers and have a look at the feet. These guys... I, I just scooched Rubiel over here. Michael Crizo was in between them. And Crizo was doing the same thing Samson was. Stepping the line. He's going way beyond the line. Rubiel's, you know, way back there on the line. So... He should be much larger than in this comparison. And this is the, the sizing that I believe, if they were both on the line, this is how it would be. Samson, he's conditioned, guys. He doesn't have those strided glutes. And Rubiel, he's getting there. He will, he will. He's almost there. He's almost there. But Samson, condition-wise, hamstrings, hammies, baby please, whatever Louis Marco says, he is conditioned, guys. Very conditioned. More so than Rubiel. But Nexilla is next level. Size in the legs. And I love those calves from these shots from the back. Unbelievable. This man is unbelievable. And the back itself? I don't know. I might still give it to Samson. He looks pretty good. But Rubiel, he's fighting him. Tooth and nail, is that what they say? Here's the rear lat. Not a very good pose for our man, Samson. I just don't think he's striking the lats themselves. Because in this comparison, Rubiel's almost catching him. I would suggest. Considering he's a little bit shorter. Or at least he's crouching down. I think he is shorter a little bit. He's almost as wide as Samson. Now there was this one. Of Samson might be a little better in the back. But he's not flexing his glutes. Hamstrings look tighter. But he's not. He should go half and half for... Flex, you know, six and one and half a dozen in the other. But instead, here he's kind of doing ten in the, the hammies and two in the... Well, never mind, never mind. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, so controversy, maybe. I think Samson was thinner skinned. When you watch the video footage as well, you could kind of see Samson, he was... Pretty conditioned. Rubiel, right there with him. Right there with him. Now the abs and thigh. Another one of these pitchers that is out-angled. This time, Samson's being out-angled by the camera footage, I think. Rubiel, he looks like he's the tallest one here. And yes, I threw Michael Crizo in here. Because he looks pretty good. He looks pretty good, Samson. Way over there, tiny little wee. Shouldn't be that small. Here's Samson's go-to. Whether you... I'm a little bit lenient on the abs and thigh. I'll let them use this one if they want. I like to have a two-arm overhead. And again, I'm lenient with vacuums, things of that nature. But having said that, I don't know. I think you'd have to be up there close to see. If Samson was much more conditioned, I can honestly see him winning most of these shots. Even the abs and thigh. But I don't know. Rubiel, I mean, I'm judging by pitchers, and that's what we do here at Mark's Max Muscle. We're just fans, right? I think uh, Rubiel could defeat Samson. Ending it with the most muscular. And you can see that thin skin, that pop, that wow. That, yes, you can usually not see from pitchers, but these were good ones. They didn't have a screen behind them. You can really see a lot of detail. And... Little more delts, especially next to Samson. Look at the delts on that guy. Cannon balls. Cannon balls. And, okay. Well, I guess Rubiel did not take too kindly to Samson and Crizo, might I add, stepping over the line. So he's going to finish off by stepping way over the line. Are you going to stop this guy with his great big rhinosaurus legs? Look at this big monster. 
huge, huge. What a monster. So do I believe. And by the way, Derek Lunsford was stepping way over the line on Samson at the Olympia. So Samson figures, you know, if they're going to do it, maybe I'll do it too. If they're going to do it in wind shows. <laughs> anyway, guys, do I believe Samson Dada was robbed? To be honest with you, Dan, I was surprised. Actually, I wasn't too surprised. Samson won this one, guys. There's a little tweaking for Rubiel. And I know a lot of people say about bodybuilders, he needs a little of this, a little of that. But usually that little of this and little of that is a big this and that. This really is just a little tiny this and that. And this guy's going to be battling, battling, I apologize, battling it out with the likes of Samson Dauda and... Derek Lunsford, dare I say Derek Lunsford could be in trouble with this guy, condition-wise, not just yet, but you do not know how far this guy could take it. Hit thumbs up, subscribe, let me know who you want, or who you think won in this comparison. Have a great one, guys.